in joining us on this channel sports 7 gh this is the day the lord has made let us be glad and rejoice in it we are bringing you fantastic updates from the world of sports um, we are going to talk about black stars captain andre the day are you um some issues about his club side some issues about the national team and the rest we are going to talk to you about all of that also we will talk about um Inak williams making a fantastic record black stars coach chris Hutton submitted or has submitted his 55 man squad for the african cup of nations which players are we or do we know that they are part of that squad and all the details about that squad we are going to bring to you in this particular video also we will look at some other stories the black stars goalkeeper lawrence atizigi um flying high this particular weekend we are going to talk about all of that and some other stories in this video so it is a packed 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 video in this on this channel do what to subscribe to the channel please when you come out subscribe to the channel okay like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us do all to subscribe hit the notification bell and select all let's start from boxing the world of boxing um a Ghanaian Senna Senna Abeko um loses world title fight in round two to David Morel Jr. of Cuban. Ghanaian boxer Senna Abeku suffered a round two defeat to Cuban defending champion um, David Morel Jr. in the WBA middleweight um, held at the Amori in Minneapolis um, on Saturday, December 16th. From the start, it was evident that Abeko faced a formidable opponent in the Cuban-born Morel, who threw a barrage of punches. Um, unfortunately, Abeko couldn't match the punches his opponent threw at him. Morel's powerful punches proved overwhelming for Abeko, ultimately promote, uh, prompting referee Mark Nelson to intervene and stop the fight at minute, 1 minute 43 seconds um, in the second round. This decisive victory saw Morel retain his WBA secondary super weight, um, super middleweight title, marking his ninth knockout in 10 fights. <laughs> the turning point in the fight came when Morel dazed, um, dazed Abeko with the left hand, leaving him powerless to a relentless barrage of punches. So, uh, fantastic Ghanaian boxer Senna Abeko losing in the second round to morel jr um it's a very very sad one but i'm sure he will not be sad like that because the the, the opponent he lost to is a formidable opponent nine knockouts in ten <laughs> yeah but senna abeko came into this particular fight with a record of 28 wins with 22 knockouts and two defeats however he experienced the knockout defeat for the second time in his professional career leading to a his third career defeat this defeat follows abeko's previous bout where he faced challenges securing alliances in april 2023 so all the best to abeko we hope and wish that he will continue to do very well for himself and make the whole of ghana world proud inaki williams making a record and um he reaches a new milestone with athletic club after this weekend's win this weekend um athletic bilbao won over atletico madrid 2-0 it ended the Ghanaian striker inaki williams marked a new milestone in his career at athletic bilbao after making an appearance in the game against atletico madrid the 29 year old made his 400th appearance for the Royal Joe Blancos as they strolled to a 2-0 victory over their former La Liga champions. Williams played a huge role as um, Kuro Zeta and younger brother Nico Williams propelled the Basque club to victory. The Spanish-born Ghanaian has spent his entire career playing for Athletic Bilbao and he is regarded as a legend of the club. Fireproof! And and continue 400 matches vigorous defending the red and white shirt um zarionak williams 
Athletic Club wrote on their Twitter and social media handles. Williams will be a huge miss for the club during the African Cup of Nations in January and February. The Black Star striker has netted eight goals and provided three assists in um, La Liga for Athletic Club this season. Now, from one Black Stars player to another Black Stars player, Lawrence Atizigi is considered as the number one Black Stars goalkeeper today. In fact, over the weekend, he also had a stellar performance for his side. Um, in a stellar performance that left the spectators on the edge of their seats, Ghanaian goalkeeper Lawrence Atizigi emerged as a shining star in St. Gallen's triumph over Zurich in trailing Swiss Super League clash on Saturday. St. Gallen secured a hard-fought 1-0 victory, adding another chapter um, to their storied history against FC Zurich. The head-to-head -head record between the two teams prior to the match favored Zurich with 24 wins compared to St. Gallen's 13 victories and 13 draws marking their encounters. However, the dynamics shifted dramatically on this particular Saturday. Lawrence Atezegui standing guard between the post showcased an extraordinary display of goalkeeping prowess and in a remarkable 9.0 ratings from Sofa score throughout the intense 90 minutes, Atizigi made seven crucial saves, including two high claims and four saves uh, inside the box. His influence on the game was palpable with 45 touches and a dominating presence in area duels so yes Atizigi keeping clean sheets and getting nine points um zero ratings from so far score that is an impressive performance the long goal that secured St. Gallen's triumph came in the 39th minute Keresi Dia Congo midfielder Chadrick Akolo Yes, um, so Atizigi's performance not only ensured a clean sheet for St. Gallen, but also underscored his significance as a stalwart in front of the goal post for his team, St. Gallen. So yes, um, Atizigi doing very well for St. Gallen over the weekend as we bring you all the updates and exclusive content on this particular channel, Sports 7 gh Thank you very much for staying. Black Stars captain, Andre the day are you? Is celebrating his birthday today. And he's 34 years today. Yes. Hooray. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Black Stars Capito. Happy birthday. He's a legend of the game. The legend of um, the Black Stars, the national teams. And he's just who it is. Whoever Andre the you thinks he is with the Black Stars, he's that player. Because he's a very, very good player. The most capped player for the Black Stars. Winning an a 20 World Cup with the Ghana and a 20 team as a captain of the side and um, going on to play several World Cups for Black Stars of Ghana. His history is remarkable and he's a legend of the game. Today, we celebrate the Black Stars Capito Andre the day are you wholeheartedly and we wish him all the best. We wish and hope that he will at least bring us the African Cup of Nations 2023 which will be played in January 2024 in Ivory Coast. Yes, Andre the Day, happy, happy birthday. Yes, yesterday too, his team, Le Havre, won their game 3-1 over Nice. Um, nice is one of the teams competing for the French League. Uh, they went to Le Havre and Le Havre won the game 3-1. Andre the Day, you played 10 minutes of the game, came on in the 84th minute, 6 minutes plus at that time. Making 10 minutes, um, he played um, yesterday in that particular game versus Le Havre. So that's how things are. The last um, issue on the desk is that the Blasters coach Chris Hutton has submitted his 55 provisional man squad for the African Cup of Nations. And that is a big, big, big one and a huge news over there. Now, the thing is that CAF has received a um, provisional squad from all the participating countries so blast us to our, our own is part okay now 55 man squad from the 55 the teams will select 27 final um players from the 55 to represent the countries at the african cup of nations you can select 23 final or you can select 27 final but ghana blasters will select 27 final 
um, players. Now, of course, the 55 need here. All them known names in the Black Stars, surrounding the Black Stars for some time now, all of them, they are part. From Inak Williams to uh, Mantua Semenyo to Elisha Ousu to Edmond Ado to Kudus Mohamed to Thomas Partey. The day are you Jordan? Are you us? Mambukari, Joseph Pencil, um, 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 Alexander Jiku, Daniel Amate, Nicholas Opoku, Stefan Ambrosius, Ransford, Eboa, Conis Dafa. All the players are part. Some local players are also part of the 55 man squad that Chris Hilton is, um, or has sent to the car. Some local players are also part. And um, that's how things are. Um, so the 55 media, it is normal. You know, when we were going to the World Cup, you no, know, and um, we also called 50 players, I think 55 players like that. And then we selected the final 25 or six players from the from the squad. So it is normal. But um, whether or not the Ghana Football Association will release that particular 55 man squad, I am not so certain about that. But the news is that Coach Chris Hilton has submitted his uh, 55 provisional man squad to calf for consideration and the ghana football association has also accepted to that so yes thank you very much for staying with us on this channel sports service jay do all to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any i'll see you in the next one bye bye